Ready on rehearsal? My name's Darren Wells, and I'm the director. So as the director, I'm supposed to uh, direct people. So I, I work with the actors, and I, if anybody has any questions about what's going on, instead of what I know, I'm supposed to be able to communicate that to people. The warehouse is about this place where people go to kind of be punished or tested for their worst flaws. So people go there, end up staying there the rest of their lives or until they're sent somewhere else or whatever. But uh, this story in particular is about a guy named Artie. My name is Travelin Pantana. I play Artie. So obviously he starts, he stands for this slothful kind of a, a slob, a lazy guy doesn't seem to have too much respect for his parents. But really his, his main thing is not laziness, but it's fear of failure from his relationship with his dad. Well, I'm Darrell Nelson. I'm playing the role of Frank Watson. And I think what is mostly uh, probably impacting Artie would be the fact that his dad, he's living in the shadow of his dad, who's this ex-Marine, served in Vietnam. He just has high standards of the way things are and is very much buttoned down. You do this, you do that. Whereas Artie is experiencing a little different idea of what the world should look like. And he's, you get the feeling he's more of an artist or he's more of trying to find his way as well, not in the footsteps of his, his parents, but specifically his dad. I left the safety and comfort of my mama's bosom oh, dad. for the privilege of serving my country. So he goes there and gets stuck there. When he meets somebody named Boo and she helps him to figure out what's going on with his issue with his laziness slash fear. So what's Dax's issue? Pride. Narcissism. All? Negativity. Yeah. And so you have to figure that out before the end of your first shift because it's a night shift and by 6 a.m. you have to figure out what your issue is so you can get out of it. Otherwise you can never leave. My character's name is Boo. She's a 10-year-old girl. She was born in 1976. And she's in this warehouse because her babysitter, Mallory, got this job in this warehouse. And well, I mean, if I were really Boo, I would be very sad because, I mean, I've been in this warehouse for a very long time, having no ability to escape. But now with Artie, there's kind of hope that I do have that ability to escape. Uh, my name is Audrey Dietz. I'm playing Belle. Belle is the manager of the warehouse and a fairly mysterious figure for most of the film until you kind of learn some somewhat dubious and supernatural truths about her essence. In today's culture, we're kind of committed to um, we got to see ourselves as good people. Like, we've got to see ourselves in like a positive light. Um, and sometimes our need to have a good self-image blinds us to the darkness that's inside of us. And if you if you don't acknowledge uh, the dark parts of you, you can't really um, you can't really face them and, and deal with them. Uh, so I think the redemptive um, aspect of the film is you see a lot of characters that are are choosing to remain blind, um, but you see some characters that that choose to become aware and and then do something about it. And I think that that's um, that's the message of the film. I am Jamie Day, and I am playing Paul. I get the cranky Paul who hides in the in plain sight, and then his secret identity, Mr. Angel, who's helpful and kind. He's a sleeper agent, and whatever this place is, the warehouse, this, this mechanism of torture, he is sort of snuck in, and he's trying to help people. I want people to be able to connect with at least one of the characters and see how the relationship aspects build that genuine love that people share. And that's you know that's that's what everything that's what it's all about, right? Oh, yeah. And, uh,